Hey everybody, how's it? What's going on? This is Jeeves here. Three years ago, today, after listening to my very first uh, band for a reaction, which was Tool, which most of you know, I said this. Uh, this is kind of fun. I, I don't think anybody's going to watch this video, what they call it the reaction thing, but geez, you know. <laughs> How did I know that that was going to completely change a bit of my life? Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Anyhow, uh, yeah, three years later, well over 1,200 videos and... Um, you know, so many suggestions from everybody. I, I look through this and I go, my goodness, this is this is like my own discography, if you would, of being an old guy listening to music and going through this crazy ass journey with everybody here, listening to all kinds of genres of metal, heavy metal, being crossed over, listening to some music that had nothing to do with metal because 99% uh, of these were suggestions. So a lot of times, um, you know, when people would leave comments going, why did you listen to this? Or why? I don't know. I was listening to it because it was a suggestion, doing the best I could to kind of, you know, uh, keep, keep within the genre, which was difficult. And then, of course, I learned so much about the different genres. But one of the things I wanted to just uh, bring, bring up front was the great experience this brought me. Like I said at the very beginning, this was kind of almost life changing for me in the sense that uh, that first video happened three years ago today, which was uh, November 18th, 2020, and we were at the tail end of COVID, and there's no two ways about it. Uh, it, it timing was everything when I did that video, and then I got completely swamped with comments. I woke up like the next day, didn't really even check on the video, um, uh, probably for about two or three days, and I didn't have my email kind of notification set up, so all of a sudden I was like, whoa! Look at all these people and stuff and I got I got the bug you know I was able to go ahead and do this and continue on through and stuff and then much much like everybody else out there I too was going through some very difficult uh, time during the end of COVID and stuff and and uh, you know just kind of hanging in there in that haze of, of what was a what the hell is the future going to be about uh, through COVID but uh, interacting with everybody as best as I could online with all the comments and stuff, I ended up becoming a lot more aware of how big the metal industry was out there, the metal world, the metal fanship, fandom, fans. And that to me is probably the most important takeaway for me was uh, the incredible community of heavy metal, metalheads, metalheads of all ages, old heads, metalheads, I don't know learning all the terminology, making the tons of mistakes that I've made. Um, also, through that process of, of people started buying me cups of coffee, of which it doesn't happen that much anymore, if at all. But it was it's, it's something that I'm so blessed to have had the opportunity to actually do, uh, to, to go through, to get to where I'm at today, where I still now I look through all my videos and stuff like that. And um, like I'm kind of cruising through right now. I'm going, geez, I did a lot. This is what only a year ago is worth of stuff. And, um, you know, the support that I got from the cups of coffee and people that came around and hung out on Patreon, there are people still on Patreon, which is really becoming uh, a very wonderful, um, small community has become that where I all, you know, been diving into for a lot of the suggestions, uh, and I still do. And I, and I, Dove into the Patreonathons now that I have a bunch of videos over there. Twitch, uh, that was a derivative of the other things that I got involved because of this channel, which were uh, I opened up a gaming channel. Well, it started off as world music, really, and um, it became uh, all about video games and stuff, listening to music from video games, of which a lot of people didn't know that I did and probably still don't. That's because a lot of things have changed, too. The algorithms have changed, and um, whether, uh, whether it's... What I'm talking about, the genre I'm talking about, you know, my, my views have dropped tremendously, but that's okay. I mean, I, I never did this for the views. I never did this, you know, for the growth. At first, I did get caught up in it, I think, you know, uh, I, I'm not, I wouldn't lie to you if I didn't say, well, God, you know, this is really great to grow. Maybe things could be bad, you know, and you start to dream a little bit when you start getting a big fan base and stuff. And, and um, you know, and then I did all these, like, you know, um, 
guitar backing tracks, you know, I figured, well, hey, I am a composer. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just do whatever I know I can do with the limited skills I have, um, you know, and pop out some, uh, you know, guitar tracks. I, I even did one super cool, this one here, um, uh, music video, if you would, uh, strictly based on things I learned from my journey here and being being an old fart composer, a decomposer, <laughs> being a decomposer and say, hey, let me give this a shot. I really love this genre. This is great. Bought a seven string guitar and the whole thing. And and um, I do remember, I think fondly, I don't know, maybe if, I, I might have to have to scooch back a little more here. Let's go back a little deeper. I do kind of miss my, the opening. What was the opening of my thing? Maybe, maybe it'll be here. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeves. So, you know, there was my old opening there, which was really fun. Um, I just kind of faded away from it, you know, and just, I don't know. Uh, you know, I changed my studio. I, I remember I had that big water leak that came through and I had to peel up the carpet and all kinds of stuff. And I, I this view that you're looking at right there obviously doesn't exist because I had to pull it back and I turned my, my writing rig and stuff in a different direction and, you know, onwards with the change. Look at the pictures kind of behind me still. Uh, but it was not hanging on the wall. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, this has been just an incredibly wonderful journey that's allowed me to do things like interviews. Um, it, like I said, even now the, the gaming channel, uh, the RPGs Arcade, um, I came up with the Sounds of Tranquility. I figured, well, let me do some library style, you know, tranquil music and and you know, let me just put together long videos of the, the ocean and stuff with sounds and just that's like my own like pharmacy, if you would, sonic pharmacy. Go over there and chill out, you know. Um, and then I opened up the positive wave writer, which is me just talking bubbles, you know, just as an old man and just you know, a little sharing a little bit of wisdom of the world. It has nothing much to do about music, but I guess maybe a little extension of who I am as an individual beyond music. But the RPGs music arcade. This was this was a super fun. Um, pop in a journey here and and what I've been doing is I've been listening to video games and so I look I even just got a hundred thousand you know um, award for that channel but you know and I do the same thing like I do with uh, the decomposer lounge and I listen to video game music and and then that came twitch and a great community came it has come out of twitch I still do twitch twice a week I I know it's not for everybody and I've had some folks from the decomposer lounge come over to my twitch because also I, I, I listen to all kinds of music on, on Twitch. It could be classical music, jazz, fusion, hip hop, techno, it doesn't matter, you know, but um, I've been getting a lot of metal over there. So a few folks have been drifting over to Twitch, you know, of course, you know where all the links are, they're down below. But, uh, and then I got involved even in playing video games, which was great. Look at this one here, uh, the Abzu video oh, game. And um, I think there was even a, a jump scare of sorts that happens. But anyhow, it's not about that. But, you know, I'd be listening to music and stuff while I'm playing the video games and even make, you know, comments about it and so on and so forth. So, um, and then even a little opportunity to share, you know, the Abba Jeeb stuff, the stuff that I've always done even before the reaction work uh, and stuff for for the kids, the children's hospital stuff that I was doing up until COVID. And, and um, I even did a couple, I think, let me, I don't know. I think I may have done... A couple metal videos that were sent my way, uh, like uh, I don't know where it is. Here it is, right here. Oh no, that's Jack Johnson. Anyhow, blah 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 blah. I, I digress. Um, all that being said, uh, it's it's been an incredibly wonderful, Motherful. absolutely. I'm just kind of bopping back. Let me get back to my channel here. Here we go. Uh, it, it's been an absolutely wonderful journey and I thank all of you for it and I don't you know it 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 did bring me into it did bring me into kind of like creator land where all of a sudden I did get kind of caught up with uh you know uh, a little stress and anxiety about numbers or people getting more views than me and you know it was it was a minute there where it did change a little bit of me you know going through the process I I did not open up my world to become a YouTube uh, personality in this capacity. Anything I ever did at YouTube was usually about the kids, you know, with the Abba Jeeb stuff, some ukulele lessons or whatever, but the whole, you know, um, uh, opportunity to get uh, the chance to just share my, oh, my, my 
my my thoughts, you know, about music in the way that I do, not doing it with with like you know, um, uh, in the style of of education in the sense of of uh, music theory, of course, because I don't have that kind of knowledge. <laughs> I mean, I do, but nowhere near some of the really super cool people that do reactions that can speak music theory and they play the chords and they talk about the circle of fifths or how they flatted this or added this to get this unique sound. That's their unique style of doing it because they also have that kind of, of education. Mine was like, like if you're even watch, if you're still here even watching this, it's, I think mine was just really based around, yes, I definitely have knowledge about music for all my years of composing. And, and even to this day, I'm so blown away. I got a phone call like three weeks ago and I've got a job and it, here I am in my early 60s still composing uh, tracks for music libraries. And it really blew me away. I thought I was done just because, you know, aging out, younger composers and stuff. But this publisher called me up and said, hey man, sorry, it's been a little bit, but love to have you come back to us. Can you do 20 tracks by the end of this year? I'm like, damn, it's the middle of November. Yeah, sure, I can do it. So... Anyhow, um, I just wanted to say to all of you guys, thank you all so much uh, for your support and and everything that uh, that you've brought to the channel, you know, because that's what it's always been about what you bring to the channel. Um, there's been quite a few times, actually, I just said this on Twitch where I've gone through some of that creator anxiety and I said, screw it. You know, I had my finger on the mouse. I was just going to delete the channels, like kind of like say I want this part of my life done. You know, and, you know, there's been there's some new business opportunities that are coming my way and stuff, too, that it's distracting me a little bit from the channel. I used to do one every day. And but the fun thing is, is now I do now I go on Twitch. I'll go on Twitch for about two to three hours, do all the music there, save it on a hard drive. And now I cut from there, as you probably have noticed now, the way I start and stop my videos just kind of seems kind of clips oriented. And I'm still able to get some videos out. And then occasionally I parachute in and I'll do one individual. And then I still do the Patreonathons. So once a month I go through all the Patreon suggestions and I try to do maybe an hour, hour and a half worth. And, uh, you know, f for them and, to, you know, stay connected with my, my stoic Patreon supporters. And if you come by this video and, and uh, you were once, you know, supporting me on Patreon and bought me cups of coffee and stuff in the past, I, I can't thank you enough. But I also can't thank enough the people who just drop by and share their feelings and their comments and, and everything. 93% um, of them, very positive, uplifting or agreeing or even disagreeing, whatever. You know, I had, I've had my good share of some really shit comments and stuff, but you know, if you do this and you put your ass out the the social media window, it's going to get shut off every now and then, you know what I mean? And, and that's just part of it. But you know, I never intend, <laughs> I never intend on saying anything that pisses people off, but just by the mere fact that I'm an old fart talking about metal, some people, you know, uh, decide that they get their underwear in a bunch and can't figure out how to fold a fitted sheet and they got to come in on me hot, you know, try to give me the people's elbow and I go, ooh, you know. Anyhow, uh, the future of the channel is whatever it is going to be. Uh, like I said, I've been getting tremendously low views and stuff and 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 for some reason that really doesn't bother me. I don't know why. I, I, I thought for sure I'd be like, oh, no, wait a minute. But, but going back to that point where I almost did delete channels and stuff is because I was just going through my own like, ah, oh my God, I'm done with this world. I want to, oh, yeah, it's a twister, you know. But there, therein lies the psyche and the reason why I opened up the Positive Wave Writer channel. So over there on that channel, I could be just like, you know, I just talk bubbles about, you know, things I go through in life and, you know, whatever. But this went on much longer uh, than probably should have, but... Um, I do have that that chattiness that happens at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what time it is right now. And I'm up early and uh, I decided I was going to do a whole different kind of video. I just decided I was going to talk. So thank you all so much for this wonderful journey. I've had an absolute blast. I'm going to continue to bring whatever it is that I can and uh just just enjoy the moment with you guys so that's my story and i'm sticking to it thank you all so much you know the old saying if you're still here type in i'm still here you guys have a killer day evening morning weekend wherever you are in the world just have a killer day and remember to count the wins count the wins no matter how hard it might be it makes the day a little easier you guys take care all right